So, having had this stimulating discussion, my only regret is we didn't have the time to turn to the audience and engage you as well in this dialogue. But I, I am grateful to all who have spoken and confident that the thought that's been so manifestly invested in this launch augurs well for the year itself. A year that will allow us to look at the whole issue of access to water afresh. I'm now very pleased to introduce what many of us may well feel is the highlight of the morning today. I recall how, as a child growing up in India, the voice of Pete Seeger on a 45 RPM record brought the Red River Valley home to me in Bombay. In the years since, his energy, vision, and music have sustained hope for countless more rivers, including the beloved Hudson of our host city, and hope for the millions who depend upon them, not only for refreshment of mind and spirit, but for sustenance of life itself. I've had the honor of not only listening to Pete Seeger more recently at Carnegie Hall, but of listening to him sing one of Mahatma Gandhi's favorite bhajans in Sanskrit. So you have an extremely unusual singer with you today. It's our great honor to welcome Pete Seeger and Bob Reed with their band and with the children's choir from the United Nations International School who are seated in costume against the wall there. They have created some water songs that promise to provide a theme song for the year. Pete, Bob, young people, friends, the floor is yours. Hello. I'm Bob Reed, and I'm here because Pete Seeger is having a conversation with uh, the, the head of the World Water Rescue Foundation, and they're looking for a theme song. And he mentioned a song that I had written 20 years ago with a bunch of fifth graders. 20 years ago, I asked these children what they thought was important enough for people to think about, since a song has an ability to focus people's attention on something. They chose water. And that song has sent ripples ever since for the last 20 years. And this is a great gift for me to be able to bring their song here to the United Nations. Uh, they are so excited. They're 32 now. They thought it's about time they got around to water. Um, I have the Big Bear Band here with me. Kathy Jo Barrett, Terry Hall, and David Grover, who's fixing the knobs. <laughs> we picked up this banjo player on the way. Uh, I'm so glad you came down, Peter. Pete Seeger. And the real reminder uh, we have the children of the world here through the United Nations International School Choir. Um, it's a reminder that what we do or don't do makes a difference. And they're watching. Sometimes water's blue, sometimes water's green, sometimes water's dirty, and sometimes water's sweet. 
They say the ocean's filling up with stuff like DDT. It shows up in the fish. If we drink too much of it, we'll want to be banned. you knowing the, the at least the chorus to the the water song. Right? That would be a, that would be wow. You all have those nice microphones in front of you. Yeah. You have all those you have your own how often do you get to have a sing along where you get your own mic? It just doesn't happen. It's like, it's like group karaoke. So how does that chorus go? Animals need water. People need it too. Keep it clean for me. And I'll keep it clean for you. Your turn, your turn. Animals need water. People need it too. Keep it clean for me. And I'll keep it clean for you. Let's do the whole thing. Thank you. 
Thank you very much. Thank you very much for that remarkable performance. Now we got to get the whole world singing it. Well said. <laughs> well said. We do we do need to get the whole world singing and indeed we must wish that the flow of the International Year of Fresh Water would be as smooth as their song. Uh, thank you very much. To the adults and the children, thank you all for attending. Thank you, Foreign Minister, for your participation. Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, that is our meeting for the day, and the International Year of Fresh Water is launched. Thank you very much. I would also like to thank Karen Lerman, who is the director of the choir. Lost her voice. Where's Karen?